Let's get back into the Oregon Trail. That's right, 1985, this game was published. I played this game in 1990 when I was, I don't know, eight, nine years old. But let's keep going. So the weather is cool, the health is fair, pace is steady, the rations are meager. So I know it's cool. So our health is fair and our pace is steady. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring up the pace a little bit. Uh, so we're going to change the pace, number four. And let's see. I'm going to do a strenuous pace. All right. So let's keep going. Uh, I think I rest. I'm not sure. But I think I was resting. My health is fair. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see how the food is. Uh, food. I've got 65 pounds of food, so I probably need to buy some more. Oh. I don't think I can buy anymore. I have to go hunting. So let's see. Can I actually? Oh god, I gotta talk to people. Oh, well, here we go again. So Linda Hindu tells you, my, the soda springs are so pretty. Seems to sprout at regular intervals. So good, just to rest and not to be joisted in the wagon all day. When I get into Oregon, I'll have to soft feather bed and never to sleep in a wagon again. That's nice. You spoiled little brat. Okay. So I only have 84 pounds of food. So let's uh, let's continue. But we're gonna do some hunting because oh shit. Oh no, we lost trail. Lost two days. And now the weather's hot. Oh great. So let's go hunting, because we need some food. Hunt for food. Eight. Alright. Oh, enter. Okay, so you remember this. So enter. Let's see. Okay, spacebar is fire. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I got I got I got uh, Yogi over there. Okay. Well well I don't I think we're good now. I got Yogi. Uh I can bring back uh I can only do like three what hundred pounds of food. Of course, my, my kids are lazy, so they obviously they can't go hunting with me. They can't bring their own weight. They got sitting there. Oh, oh, there's Bambi. Oh, I missed Bambi. I can't bring only bring 200 pounds of food. 200 pounds of food anyway. From the animal you shot, you got 125 pounds of meat. However, you can only cable carry back 100 pounds because our my family is lazy and they don't want to help. So cool. All right, so now we got 100 more pounds of food. So let's continue on the trail. Okay, weather's cool. Uh, pace is strenuous, so yeah, we're, we're good. We should be all right. Here we go. And with grass. Uh, let's see, one pile. A little water, very little water. One of the oxen is injured. Oh no. <laughs> hey, you know what? These oxen have actually lasted a very long time. That's why they haven't died. One of the oxen is injured. Oh no. All right, so let's, uh, let's figure this situation out. We're gonna have to okay. So the oxen's injured. He must have hit, broke a nail or something. So we're going to uh, change the pace. We're gonna slow him down. We'll go to a steady pace so he doesn't actually die. Uh, we'll stop to rest so that way he can, you know, get a little bit better. Uh, one day, one day should be enough. If we, I have three oxen, so if one dies, we can just eat him. Before I go on, I want to check something real quick. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. I just wanted to check everything. Hi, this is my little setup. All right, let's go back. Back to we go. All right, so we just attempt to trade, which hunt for food, stop to rest. We just did that. Uh, check food rations. Uh, let's see, what's that at? We are meager. So let's do filling because I want to keep my family nice and... Oh, now, okay, weather's hot now, so it's a good thing we're slowing down. So, okay, attempt to trade, hunter for food. Uh, attempt to trade. What are they going to trade us? Wagon wheels? You meet another immigrant mm, who wants a wagon, one wagon axle. He will trade you one wagon wheel. Um, no, because I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anything. No. So far, my, my wagon has not broken down, which is a miracle. So let's continue on the trail and watch my oxen die. Here we go. 
You are now at Fort Hall. Would you like to look around? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that's enough. That hurts my ears. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now the weather's cool. The health is fair. Uh, the pa Why is my health still fair? Is he still got a broken leg? Anyway. So, we are now at Fort Hall. And let's buy some supplies. I still got plenty of money. Uh, so I have $1,065 still to spend. So let's spend it on food because I'm obviously going to need that. Let's do a 300 pounds again, because my family loves to eat. Uh, how much ammunition do I have? Uh, I've, I've been doing I've been doing hunting, but you know what? I've been doing pretty good with the ammunition, the ammunition. Blah, 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 blah. My oxen. I might have to buy an oxen because I have a feeling this one's probably going to die. So let's do one, uh, one, because he's sick. So we'll we'll throw him on the uh, on, he'll throw him on the cart, give him a break, you know. Rub his feet, make him feel better, and uh, we'll replace him with another ox. <laughs> we'll just throw him here, get out of here. Go, go into the wild, we got a new one. Okay, so wagon time, get only of that, we got plenty. Plenty of food now. Uh, ammunition, how about clothing? Clothing, we're good. So cool, we're good. Eight, leaf store. Okay, so. We, okay, we're, okay, weather's cool now, so it's nice and cool. I'm pretty sure we can pick up the pace a little bit. So we're going to pick the pace up before uh, we'll do a strenuous pace. Actually, you know what? We'll do a grueling pace because I got, I got four oxen now. So let's do a strenuous pace. We're gonna we're gonna work them. I mean, our health is still fair. We're not dying. But we're gonna stop to rest first, just to give us a nice little rest. So one day. Okay. I talk to people. Oh boy, here we go. Miles Hendricks tells you, Well, friend, this is where we part. I am bound for California with an imposing desert. Opposing desert because I can't speak English. Opposing desert to cross. And you, you've got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no pen. Picnic. Oh my god, I need to put my contacts in. I can't breathe for crap. Write us, or you, or the missus. As soon as you reach Oregon. Right, we're gonna write you. If we don't die first. Okay, so we already rested. We rested for one day. I got another oxen. The weather's cool, so we can rule it. And now we're filling. We're, we got plenty of food. We got only buy supplies. We're good. Let's go. Let's keep going. Alright, so. We need, oh my god, 182 miles. And we got plenty of food. Hopefully we don't get robbed to the Snake River, so we're good. We should be good to go. Let's go. Rat B has broken a leg. Seriously, again? What are you doing? You're on a wagon. What did you do, fall out of it? Fine. Uh, broken, Rat B has broken a leg. Of course he has. Or maybe she. Who knows. All right, so he's broken his stupid leg. Cause, Cause riding in a wagon is so hard. So we're gonna do a strenuous pace. And we're gonna turn it down a little bit because, you know, we don't want the kid to overwork himself. And we're gonna keep going, because you're fine. Walk it off. One of the oxen have died! <laughs> no. I knew it! I knew it! I knew he was going to die. That's why I bought another one. One of the uh, that's why now I have three. We're good. This is why I had a feeling he was he heard broke his leg. Now he's dead. All right. Well, now we have food. We have plenty of food. Now we can eat the oxen. Can we eat the oxen? Change pace. Change food. Uh, stop the rest. Okay. We need to we need to bury the oxen because he was a really good proud of our family. But we'll stop to rest and we'll bury him. And we'll say a nice little eulogy to the oxen. And, you know, I mean, he, he, he traveled pretty far with us, so, you know, we gotta do something, right? I mean, after we eat him, we'll bury his bones, you know, all that, that nice, beautiful stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. So, we'll do, we'll stop to rest to bury him. 
God, I need my, I need my contacts. My God, I am so blind as a bat. See, so this is what happens when you play, uh, you play games since 1990. You go blind. So we're gonna, we're going to rest for one day. We're gonna eat, eat him up and then bury his bones. There we go. Okay. So the weather, weather is cool. Health is fair. Pace is still strenuous, and we're, we're eating good. We're definitely eating good now that we probably eat the oxen. So let me uh. Let me check the supplies. I should just have three oxen. Oh, I still have six. Okay, so we have six oxen. Okay. So bullets, we got plenty. Tongues, too. Nothing else. Plenty of food, so we're good. Alright. Let's keep going. Impassable trail. Loose phase. <laughs> what? <sighs> Impassable trail. Lose four days. How do you lose four days? All right. Sure. Okay. Very little water. Look in when it grass. <laughs> what kind of grass? The smoking kind or the regular kind? All right. Very little water. Get over here has measles. <laughs> oh no, my wife's got the measles. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, maybe we should like rest. Alright, uh, let's rest for a little bit so that way she can hopefully get better. Oh, and I hope she doesn't die. Oh no, that would suck. Oh no, my health is poor. That's not good. Oh, uh, let's rest for one more day. Uh, stop to rest. Six. We're gonna stop to rest one more time. One. Maybe I'll, okay. Now it's fair. Good. Maybe she's he, maybe she's nice and healed now. She doesn't have to worry about dying. Well, who knows? Uh, my oxen just died, so I mean she's got the measles. Now it's fair, so hopefully she's okay now. I'm gonna hunt for food. I know we got plenty, but I'm gonna hunt some more. So yeah, I'm gonna hunt. I'm gonna do some more hunting. Here we go. Bambi! Ah, I got thumper. All right. Come on, I want the bear. Give me the bear. Oh, come on, give me, no, go down, go down, there you go. Ah, wrong button. Right, turn this way. Oh, there's a bear, there's a bear. Yes, woo, I got Yogi. All right, we're good, we're good. Uh, oh, I got two bears. Oh my God, y Yogi and Boo Boo, I'm sorry. I, I need food. Oh my God, 274 pounds of meat, but yet I can only carry 100. Because my kids are really lazy. I guess I don't know. All right, so we're good now. Our weather's cool, health is fair, and pace is strenuous. Let's see. Let's check the pace. Number four. Uh, strenuous pace. Let's do a grueling pace. Let's really push it. <laughs> Even though my wife just got the measles, we're gonna push it. Uh, so it's nice and cool. So we're gonna get that sweat up. We need to, you know, go. So all right, go to the trail. Here we go. Hope I'll help. She doesn't die. Rough trail. Oh, great. Okay. Um. Oh, hang on. Let's. Uh. If it's a rough trail, let's let's change it down a little bit. Change the pace. We'll do a steady pace through the trail. Not really hot, regular to that. <laughs> Speak English well. Here we go. A fire in the wagon results in the loss of six sets of clothing, one wagon wheel. <sighs> Kids, what have I told you about playing with matches? Now, now you set our wagon on fire. It's a good thing I love you. And 200 pounds of food? Really? We lost 200 pounds of food because it was on fire? You would think that'd be good for it because it took it. The two wagon axles. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Well, we better pray to God we don't break down or we're screwed. Oh, God. All right, um, well, we just lost pretty much all our food, so we gotta go hunting. All right, Yogi. Sorry, I gotta do this again. I gotta shoot you. Oh. I like I'm the only one that hunts. Come on, show your face. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear. Yes, I got him. Ha, oh, I'm shooting him alone. Alright, I got two bears. That should be good. Don't waste ammo. 
All right, now I got two bears, and now I can only carry 100 pounds of it. My kids set the damn thing on fire. You would think they would help and help me pick up this poop. Oh, I need to pause real quick. Hey, we're back. So, for some stupid reason, when I went live on Twitch, it was actually dropping frames on a 1985 game that doesn't move at all. That's stupid. But anyway, we're back. So what we're gonna do is gonna keep playing this game. So hold on, let me check something real quick. Everything's moving. All right, so that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm also uploading a video, that's the first one. So we're gonna keep playing, and hopefully it works still good. Okay, we're gonna continue on the trail. One of my oxen died. You probably heard that, if not, you will. Brett A has broken an arm. Okay, so Brett B broke the leg. This one has broke the arm by slapping his other little sister. That's how he broke his arm. All right, so we're going to rest for a little bit because he broke his arm. Actually, you know what? No, we don't need to rest. He's fine. He can walk it off. He's, it's a broken arm, not a broken leg. So how's my food? We got plenty of food? Let's find out. Okay, we got, we're still at full filling. That's good. Yeah, we're good. Or let's continue. Inuit grass. We're coming up to a river. Oh boy. Okay, now we're running out of food a little bit. Run rough trail. I got that itch in my nose, sorry. Rough trail. Alright, so let's uh, change the pace a little bit. Because we've been going. Bah! Let's do a steady pace because apparently it's rough trail, so we'll do that. Let's keep going. Very little water. Take what? Grass. Grass. Very little water. And we're getting to the river. Oh, now we're at the river. Okay, so. You are now at the Snake River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Sure. And we got Native American guy. The girl. This is Pocahontas. Okay. So let's talk to people. We got a Native American girl. This is what he has to say. Maybe not. A frantic wife tells you, It says right here in Shimmery Guidebook, You must hire an Indian to plot at you at the crossing of a snake river. <laughs> it being dangerous is not perfectly understood, but my husband sits on the crossing without a guide. <laughs> That's what she had to say. That's nice. The weather's cold. Not good. Our health is poor. That's not good either. Our pace is steady and our rations is filling. Let me check the supplies. Have we still got clothes? Oh no. We're not we don't have much clothes. That's not good. So we're gonna we're we're freezing. Uh, let's see if we can trade with people. Seven. You must you meet another immigrant who wants to wants one set of clothing, he will No, I need the clothing. No, I need the clothing, not you. I need the clothing. No, I, I want the clothing. Talk to people, I already talked to somebody. Stop to rest. Might as well. It's cold out, so yeah. I, I mean, seriously, it's Oregon. How freaking cold can it be? 60 degrees? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was mean. Uh, let's stop. Yes, one. Please be warm. Still cold. Oh, now it's cool, it's not cold, that's okay. Alright, so steady, uh, fair, filling. Alright, so we still got the child with the broken arm, and we're running out of clothes. We have no clothes, and now we had to cross the river. Yay! Let's do it. Continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently, wow, 1,000 feet across, and only 6 feet deep in the middle. That's still pretty deep. Okay, so these are our options. Attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon and float it across, hire an Indian to help, or Native American, wait to see if the conditions improve, get more information. Hire an Indian. Okay, I guess we can do that. I got plenty of money. I'm rich. A shunny, 
Shushkini guide says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. I don't have much clothing! I'll give you some food! No. Let's try it again. Let's, maybe they'll change your mind. Oh, still the clothing. I can't do that. I, I can't, oh, cause my, my family's gonna be like, have, my frame is gonna be naked if I give them freaking three sets of clothing. They're gonna be freezing. Ah. Oh. I have a feeling I'm gonna drown right now. No, we're not doing that off. All right, six feet deep, higher than any to help. It's it's a thousand feet across, so that's pretty far. If I, if I float the thing, it's probably gonna sink. If I try to cross the river, I'm gonna drown. Let's 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 wait to see the conditions approved. The camp near the river for a day. It's still six feet deep. Let's see if the Indians change his mind. No, he still wants the clothing. No. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Get more information. Before the river means to pull you away and across the shallow part of the river which the oxen is still attached. I know what it means. You know what? I hate to do it. I have no choice. I, either I'm gonna die. I have no choice but to give him my clothes. Take all my clothes. We'll just have to be naked for the next freaking how long I need to be. Oh yeah, sure. Take all my clothes. The Shusky guide you. <laughs> I swear to God, if you if we drown, I'm. Here we go. Hey, well, we're gonna go across the river. Here we go. Wow, that is long. Let me guess. Something died. You had no trouble floating across the river wagon across. Yay! Now my, now my, now I have no food. The snake we're crossing, yeah, that's nice. I have to go. Oh no, oh no, I have no food. <laughs> I gotta go hunting. My, my, my family is starving. My poor family is counting on me. Oh, as I miss. Stop, stop shooting. Oh, a deer. No, go back, go back, go back. Oh, a bear. No, come back. Uh, come on, where's the animals? They all ran away. Oh, there's another deer. Go back. Come back. Please. Hey, I got Thumper. <laughs> I got one pound of meat. Woo! Let's do that again. That was horrible. All right, let's do this again. Ah, I got a squirrel. Oh, there's a bear. Another bear. Ah, oh, go the yellow way. Oh, there's a deer. I can't move. Stop moving. That's Thumper. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Go this way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got Bambi. Yes! I got the bear. Yeah, now oh, we're good. We don't need it. We don't need any more shooting anything. That's good. Okay, so ha. Huh. Let's do it one more time because I'm running out of food and my 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 family's starving. It's a bear. And shoot! Yeah, I get the bear again. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> okay, we should be good now. I don't think I have to do anything more. That's it. We're good. We're good. All right, let's go. Oh, it's Bambi. Bambi! Oh, how did I miss? Well, I got 100 pounds. We're good. All right. So our health is poor. But I don't know why. Pace is steady. Weather's warm. Good. Because I have no clothes, so that's good. Because our my family's naked right now. So uh, since our health is poor, let's take a break. Let's uh, stop to rest. Well, one day, maybe it'll go up. Bear, okay, there we go. Now the weather's still warm and we're naked, so that works. Let's keep going. Okay, we're coming up to a good. We're coming, very little water. Uh, 
One of our oxen is injured. Great! We got another oxen that's gonna die. What the hell was that? My cat's going nuts over there. Great! One of the oxen is injured. Well, we're almost there, so we only got 45 mi 41 miles to go. You can go. Very little water. Very little water. Very little water. We made it. You know now? Yes, we made it. Woohoo! We're at November 3rd. Okay, let's uh, buy some more supplies. We're gonna buy an oxen because one of them is probably gonna die soon. Uh, we only got 905. We only have $905 left. So we'll buy one. Because he's probably going to die. Uh, food. We're almost out of food. So let's do uh, 300 pounds again. 3725. Ammunition. I'm doing pretty good with that. Clothing? We definitely need clothing. So, two, four, six, we need ten. Alright, five hundred dollars left. Uh, we ran out of wagon tongues. So, five, uh, two. And wagon tongues, six. We'll get two more because we lost everything. Uh, wheels? We'll get one wheel because I think we, that's all we need. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's talk to the... Uh, leave the store. Okay. Uh, let's talk to people. Oh boy, here we go. A trader with six mules tells you, You'll not get your wagon over them blue mountain, mister. Leave it! Cross your goods over the park pack animals. Get yourself a couple of good mules. Pieces of wagon litter the trail. Left by them folks who don't Heed good advice. Oh, you sound like a dick. Alright. Alright, so we made it here. Our health is fair. The weather's cold, but we got clothes now, so we're okay. So we're going to stop and rest. Give it a break. How many days would you like to rest? One. Cool. Okay, our fair. Okay, it's still cold, but our health is fair. I'm checking something real quick. Give me one minute. Okay, we are good, I think. I'm just checking something real quick. Huh. Well, that's okay. How long have we been, how long are we recording for? Okay, so that was, that was a while ago. So when I record, it seems to be alright. Oh, wrong button. Good thing I can edit this shit. Okay. Uh, so it's cold, but our pace is steady, so we're going to change the pace. We are going to... A drenos... Uh, yeah. A grueling, a grueling pace. Because we, it's cold now, we need, we need to bake up a sweat, and we need to get our asses going. So we, we already rested, we're good, let's go. From Fort Boise is 160 miles from the Blue Mountains. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, here we go. Very little water. Very little water. Anyway, grass, which I don't know what that means. You know, grass, still got plenty of food. We're still good, we're still good. Here comes the mountains. Still got very little water. Which I know why. Okay, you are now at the Blue Mountains. What would you like to do? Look around. Sure, I guess so. It's blue. Look how blue they are, except for the tops. That's nice. Okay, weather's cold. Health is poor. I don't know why. Pace is grueling because you know I've been pushing them and filling. All right, so let's see. The health. Okay, the health is poor. I don't know why, but okay. Pace is grueling, so let's change the pace to a steady pace, because my family's are... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop to rest. Number six. Oop, six. One day, so they can feel better. Okay, it's still cold. It's still poor. Okay, let's rest again. One day. And it's still poor. Why am I still poor? Okay, let me check the supplies. Okay, I got plenty of food. I, got I only got $95 left. Well, that's not good. Plenty of bullets. Set the clothing good. Oxen, 15. 15 oxen? Wow, I have a lot of oxen. I don't know why I have so many. Okay. Uh, talk to people. Why not? Jacob Hofstetter tells you, This valley of Grand Moss is the most beautiful sight I've ever seen in months. Water and grass in the abundance. And if this valley was so fine in the well, it must be. 
<laughs> I got my mouse in the way. Twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty with our new homestead. Yes, we will. Okay, that's nice. Attempt to trade. Trade what? You, ma you meet another immigrant who wants to want 66 pounds of food, and they will give you one wagon tongue. No. Nope. I'm good. Alright, so my health is still poor, but we're going to slow down so maybe my family can feel better. Let's pray to God nobody dies. The trail divides here. You may head for the Fort Wallace Walla. Head for the the Dallies. Seeing map. Let's see the map. Okay, we're almost there. The Dallies, Blue Mountains, Walla Walla. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Um, let's go to let's go to the dallies. Let's go to the dallies. From the Blue Mountains is 125 to the dallies. All right, let's do it. Bad water. That's not good. Hey, Brad Hay has measles. Oh no! All right, let's let's rest. Uh, what's my uh, supplies at? Uh, still got 155 pounds of food. We're good. Wagon wheel one. Believe it or not, wagon, my wagon has not broken down once, which is a miracle. Oxen. I got 15 freaking oxen. We should be rolling. Alright, let's take a break so he can rest. Because he's got the measles. I mean, we're, now we're cold. That's even better. Alright, so we're going to continue on the trail even though he's got the measles and our health is poor. Severe blizzard. Lose one day. Oh, yay. Very little water. 90, 50 pounds of food. 55 pounds. 50 pounds. 35 pounds. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Let's hunt for food. Let's get some food because I'm running out of food. Let's go hunting in the winter. Huh. Ah, I gotcha. He was like stuck between the trees. I got nowhere to go. It's like a squirrel. It's another bear. Actually, I think I got pretty good food now. Oh, my, my family's sick and I'm hunting. Come on, show your face. Okay. Well, I got 61 pounds of meat. That's good. Okay. We should be good. Uh, <sighs> health is poor for some reason. Alright, let's stop the rest. One day. It's still poor. <clears throat> but it's warm out. Let's continue. We're almost there. Heavy fog was one day. Uh, we still got... Oh, man, I gotta go hunting again. Ah, you guys are eating all the food. Oop, I missed. Alright, come on. We're almost there, come on. Ah, no! No! Stop moving! Look down! You mother... <laughs> you missed the bear! I got Thumper. Oh, I'm shooting him again. Okay, I got a squirrel. This is the bear. Yes! Oh, I got the bear! Alright. Oh. Let's just keep going. We're almost there. Come on. Heavy fog goes one day. Uh huh. Let's keep going. A thief comes during the night and steals one ox. Okay, well, I got five others. We're good. Of all, of all the things to steal, he's gonna steal an ox. To be a blizzard, we lose one day. Alright, we're still good. I mean, our health is fair, so we're good. Come on, we're almost there. You can do it. We're almost there. Make it. You. All right, now at the Dallas, would you like to just look around? Yes. Oh, great, we're now at the little river. That's nice. Uh, talk to people. Oh, boy, here we go. A toll collector tells you, I collect the tolls for the barrel road. A bargain at twice the price. Until last year, the overlander had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Yay! Okay. Um, 
attempt to trade, stop to rest. Might as well, mom's there. Okay, so our, our Hello's fair, pace is steady, cool, and let's keep going. The trail divides here, you may float down the Columbia River, take the Barlow Toll Road. Uh, let's do the toll. You must pay $12 for the Twilight Rabble to Ball Road. You win? Yes. And the Dallas it is 100 miles from. Oh, great. Can we go hunting first? Wait, did somebody just die? I don't know. I just thought I said somebody died. Let's go hunting again. Oh, no, it's at 8. Let's go hunting again. Come on, give me a bear. Yeah, the bears are over there. Why are they over there? No! Oh. No! Yes! Uh, get the bear! Ooh. Bambi! Bambi! Uh, I got the bear, we're good. So I can, I, I can I carry 100 pounds of food. The bears are everywhere over there. Yeah, shoot over there. Oh yeah, now nah, I'm gonna point that way. They're gonna come the other way. Alright, we're good. Alright, so pace is steady, cool. Let's keep going. 100 miles. We can do this. Brad has a broken arm. What's he even breaking your arms? Seriously. Stop hitting your sister. 40 pounds. 25 pounds. A thief comes tonight and steals seven oxen? He stole seven. How the hell is that even possible? How does he steal seven oxen? How many I got left? So I got seven? Alright, I think I got seven. How does he steal seven oxen? How does that even happen? Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Go, go, go down, there you go. There's trap, get him. Oh my god, I suck. Got him that time. I got Bambi. That guy is like weird looking. He's like, oh yeah, I gotta do this all myself. Hey, get the bear. Woo! Oh, I wanna get Bambi again. Bambi. Okay, we're good. I cannot believe that. Hey, our health is good this time. Oh, sorry. Ah, I'm moving it. Our health is good. Yay! My family's feeling better now. Even though we've been fair the whole damn time. All right, let's do this. Continue, let's go. We're good. We're almost there. Come on, you can do it. Heavy fog, don't care. Let's keep going. Come on. Broken wagon tongue. Would you like to try to play it? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of them. You will on the repair of the broken wagon tongue. You must replace it with a spare part. Okay. Got water. Can we make it? Can we make it? Congratulations, you have made it to the Oregon. Yay! We did it! I didn't drown! Let's see how many points you received. Oh god. Five people in fair health. 2,000. One wagon. 50. Seven oxen. 28. Four spare wagon parts. Eight. 11 sets of clothing. 22. 113 bullets. Two. 20 rounds of food, pounds of food. $83 in cash. Total, 2,126. I don't know if that's good, but. We did it, we didn't die, I didn't drown. Woohoo! Wow, I am really suck. <laughs> wow, man. The Oregon Trail top 10. Hmm. You type your name as you would if you see it on the list. I'm not even on that list. <laughs> I'm not even close to being on that list. But you know what? That was fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This was fun. I haven't played... Oh my god. I have not played this game forever. Oh. <laughs> so if you guys like that, hit the like button. That'd be great. Hit the subscribe button. That'd be even better. Um... 
So I'm going to see if I can find some of these old games I used to play when I was younger and do some more of these. So th this is fun because it, it reminded me of how, how when we first started playing these games. Um, let's see if we can find some of old Atari games and see if I can find those on the internet. That'd be great. Once again, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Woohoo!